Good afternoon, I'm Libby Dowsett. Jurors at the Trisha McCallum murder trial learn new details about the relationship between Trisha and her husband, Chris, who she's accused of killing. News 10's Ashley Carrasco has been covering the trial for us and joins us live by phone with the very latest. Ashley? Libby, a key witness for the prosecution this morning, Jeremiah Hills. He is Trisha's former dominant master. Now, what that means is that he and Trisha had what the court is calling an adult relationship in the bedroom. Now, according to Jeremiah, the relationship between Trisha and Jeremiah started in June of 2012, and they became intimate two weeks after they met. They met through a man named Harvey Bernia. And Chris actually, according to Jeremiah, Chris knew about the relationship between the two, and he didn't like it very much. Now, there's this thing called a collar in the dominant subdominant relationship, and Trisha started wearing the collar, according to Jeremiah, and Chris didn't like that, which caused a bunch of arguments. Now, after one of the arguments, Jeremiah says that Trisha told him, quote, unquote, things would be better without him or if he was dead. Now, that is actually the furthest we have gotten this morning. The prosecution has done their, um, have asked their questions and done their examination. There's a cross-examination that's expected to start around 1.30 this afternoon. We'll have those latest details tonight at 5 and 6. Reporting live from Wairika, I'll send it back to you, Libby. All right, Ashley, thank you for that. We will continue to bring you the latest updates on this trial online at KTVL.com and have a wrap-up tonight on News 10.